Hey everybody, Mr. Olson here. Um, so this year we may be required to do some live streaming of our instruction for any students who are quarantined. Uh, the good news about that is that it's going to look very similar to the way that we conducted our office hours last spring. Uh, so simply, um, we're going to just create a meeting as you would normally. Um, you can use that, that nickname code. So I'll use Olson Tech here. And when I'm ready to live stream to my students, um, I'll simply go to the join now button and I can either provide the nickname or the direct link into my Google Classroom. So I'm gonna go up to the top, I'm gonna create a new assignment and I'm going to add that link. And I would just call this, you know, period one ELA live stream and I would put the date so it's on the 24th and I would just say click on the link below to view the live stream and you know you just want to make sure that you put that in a topic where students are going to be able to find it so I might actually create a topic that I would just call live stream instruction And we'll go ahead and assign that there. And now I've got a topic called live streamed instruction. You can see the date and the period and the student would simply just click on this just as they would for my office hours. Uh, and that'll take us to this screen where I'll be pretty much projecting what's happening in my classroom as I'm going through my instruction. So again, when you're doing live streaming, uh, it's essentially just the way you would set up your office hours, just making sure that you provide students with a link somewhere in your LMS. Um, so if they are quarantined, they would be able to view it. And just as a friendly reminder, uh, you can turn on captions on this button right down here so that you can have captions on your screen. And if you are looking to record your Google Meet, just by clicking on the three vertical dots in the upper right-hand corner, if you click on the record meeting button, uh, you'll be able to record your Meet so that you can archive it um, so that students can view it for up to that semester.